All right, as we get ready for the final match in Jurio, here's a replay of the second to last match, and this is featuring Aoyama in the green. The Bulgarian uh, is uh, was seven and six. He lost there, so he's now seven and seven. So he has to win tomorrow if he wants to bounce right back up to the Ma uh, Makuchi division, the top division. So he'll have one more chance on Sunday. His opponent, uh, Toki Hayate, that was his Kachikoshi. But here's the match he clicked on. This is Shiden, 9-4 and four at Jurio 12, taking on the co-leader in Koto Shoho. Koto Shoho is a Jurio 1, 10-3 record. And if you already watched the Ono Sato match, you know that he won. And Koto Shoho, I'm sure, is aware of that. So he's got to win here to stay tied for the lead. Sorry, I'm looking at my phone, trying to find some information. Um, and, uh, you know, potentially force a playoff tomorrow uh, or just win again tomorrow and hope that Ono Sato loses uh, or other way around uh, <laughs> because uh, they've already fought each other during the course of the, the Basho. So they won't fight each other tomorrow. We don't know, of course, the day 15 matchups as per usual. And Koto Shoho, of course, is uh, has been in Maegashira all year. He, in fact, had 11-4 and four back in January at Maegashira 13 and got the Kantosho, the Fighting Spirit Prize. And that rocketed him all the way up to Maegashira 5. But he went 6-9. and nine. Then he had to pull out of a tournament in May with only two wins. And so that, that took him all the way back down to Maegashira 13. He barely missed Kachikoshi, went 7 and 8. Maegashira 14, last tournament in September, went 5 and 10. So that finds him down here in Jurio, but he's uh, not having a big problem handling a lot of the Jurio competition. And uh, should, well, he'll definitely go back up to the top division because it doesn't matter if he wins the U Show or not. He's already got 10 wins at Jurio 1, so he will be re promoted. In January, uh, Shiden, on the other hand, uh, could finish the tournament at 11 and four. If obviously, if he wins today, he'll go 10 and four. Uh, and even if he loses today, he could get double-digit wins tomorrow. And but he's a jury of 12, so he's not going to get promoted anywhere uh, uh, in January, other than up the bonds K in Jurio and set himself up for a possible promotion in March. And he his highest rank is uh, Jurio 11, which is where he was last tournament, and uh, had a 6-9, and nine, so they just dropped him one spot. But he's bounced back quite well with a 9-4 and four so far. So he's a wrestler on the rise, even though he's not a spring chicken. He's in his early 30s, uh, but trying to make his way up to Makuchi for the very first time. So uh, good luck to him, and uh, let's see if Koto Shoho can get the win here. This is the final match of the Jurio division uh, today on day 14. It's Saturday. And um, then they'll come out and do the ring entering ceremony. And then we'll kick off the top division action. Of course, I'll have a bunch of matches for you from the top division. All the exciting ones, including, of course, the big match, which is the final match of the day. Kirishima, 11-2, taking on Atami Fuji, also 11-2. Pretty much, probably, uh, not not necessarily, but very, very likely that whoever wins that match will win the U Show. Uh, but uh, we still do have one more day of sumo on day 15, right? Okay, let's see what happens in this one. No ringside announcers on Abema yet, so uh, just me <laughs> and crowd noise. Matanash. No more waiting. Let's go. Oh, he got him. He got him. Yeah. All right. So if he and Ono Sato win their regulation matches tomorrow, then we'll have a playoff, and that's always fun. So of course I'll bring that to you on the channel tomorrow. I plan on being on the couch all day watching sumo. And uh, just a little uh, Japanese for you while we watch the replay. So Matenash 
Nashi means to cut something out or eliminate it. Um, and mate or mata is to wait. So uh, a good phrase to learn if you're going to visit Japan is choto mate kurasai, choto mate kurasai. Choto mate means uh, please wait a little. Uh, choto means a small amount. Uh, so please wait a little. Uh, kurasai, of course, is the Japanese word for please. Although I don't use kurasai very much in my day to day, to be honest. I use onegaishimasu much more than I ever say kurasai. Um, I really only use kurasai in set phrases like chotomate kurasai or, or dozo kurasai. Like if I'm, you know, getting on an elevator and then I'm like, oh no, you please go first. Dozo kurasai, you know, you go before me. Um, uh, yeah, uh, it's, it, it, it's kind of like words that you're, you're so familiar with that are Japanese like sayonara. Sayonara, nobody ever says sayonara practically in Japan. Because it's really only used when you're saying goodbye for a long period of time and you won't see the person for a while. So like my students don't say sayonara to each other when they leave school each day. They'll say ja ne or mata ne, um, which means, you know, see ya, you know, or see you tomorrow, you know, type of thing. And uh, in, in the staff room, we have a set phrase that we say to each other, which is otsukara sama deshita, otsukara sama deshita which means thank you for your hard work today. As we leave, we say that. Or sometimes if I, because I really rush out at five o'clock, you know, we're supposed to stay at work till 5 p.m., but most teachers stick around. But I run out the door when it's sumo time. So I'll say, osaki ni shitsure shimasu, osaki ni shitsure shimasu, which means uh, pardon me for going first. Um, we're very polite to each other. Um, I, I don't know any of my teacher's first names, except one teacher, Naomi, who had lived in Hawaii um, and was Japanese, but ha had very Western mannerisms. Um, we got to know each other by our first names and she would call me Jason and I would call her Naomi. And that's about it. Even teachers I teach with, like my homeroom teacher, um, we'll just call him Mr. K. I, I have no idea what his first name is. Um, and sometimes if we have two teachers with the same last name, I have to be like, which one is which? Um, because nobody calls each other by their first name. And of course you always say sensei or san uh, with the honorific added to the name. So I'm never just Mr. Harris, uh, you know, uh, I'm always either Harris sensei. Sometimes people call me Harris san, but not very often uh, because they know I'm a teacher. And there is the man, Kirishima. So there, a little Japanese lesson as we watch the Dokyo Iri, a little bonus there in this video. Uh, do you guys want to watch the other guys come in from the other side? Sure, why not? Let's just let it keep going. What else do you want to know in Japanese? So, uh, at, in sumo, uh, they, I think, you know, use certain vocabulary that's really only used. And, and I'll come sometimes and I'll talk to my kids. Um, I call my, my students my kids, my, my, my year 10. I'm the year 10 homeroom teacher. So I'm responsible for that group of 15 students who are entering the IB program at my school. And uh, I'll say, oh, you know, guys, you know, you know, on Friday, like when we were leaving school, we have a little short homeroom right before we leave. We, we make sure everybody's got, you know, all the right books to take home for the weekend. Well, actually, this was back on Wednesday, wasn't it? Because Thursday and Friday were a holiday. So we would have said our goodbyes and, you know, I stick around for a few minutes in case anybody needs to talk to me. And... Um, either about the subject I teach, history, or just about, you know, life in general. And sometimes I just play games with the students who have to hang out a little bit you know, because they have to go catch a certain train at a certain time or a bus. Um, and uh, so I was like, oh, you guys, you know, uh, don't forget Sunday, you know, Sen Shiraku, and, you know, it should be an exciting uh, tournament. And, you know, we, the, the, the Yokozuna is not there. And I'm throwing all this sumo terms at them. And they don't know. <laughs> uh, some of these words are not used in uh, daily language, let's just say. Uh, they're, they're highly uh, specialized sumo terminology, and they always kind of get a chuckle because I'll just break out. Yeah, you know, like he, it was a great, you know, Oshidashi win yesterday for the uh, Komosubi and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and they just look at me like, how do you know all this stuff? But uh, all of them know I have a channel. Um, uh, and every now and then they joke with me that they're going to watch, but I don't think any of them do. But if you're watching, guys, I, they definitely would have stopped watching by now. 
Uh, hello, my students. <laughs> there is a, one of the mascots of Kyushu, Kum Kumamon, the bear with the rosy cheeks there on that uh, Keisho Mawashi. So the long aprons that the guys wear are called Keisho Mawashi, and uh, they're very expensive. They cost about 5,000 US dollars, I think, to embroider and stitch and make. And they're usually donated to the wrestler by his cheering group. Um, there is, of course, Atami Fuji, who's in the final match of the day uh, against Kirishima. So this happens, uh, what time is it now? We're live at 3.47 p.m. So if you are going to sumo and you know, you're thinking, oh, I just want to really watch the top wrestlers, definitely still plan on getting to the sumo well before 4 o'clock. Because A, you have to find your seat. B, you're going to want to, you know, maybe use the restroom or get a drink. Um, and C, you probably want to go to the souvenir shops, right? And get some uh, goods. So if you don't, if you're not interested in Jurio and you really just want to watch the last two hours, that's cool. Uh, but I would still advise getting to live sumo by, say, 3, 3.30 at the latest. So you don't miss this. Um, I know when I took my niece and her husband in Osaka in March, just because of um, trains and then a taxi and getting there. We literally walked in as this was finishing. So they, they missed it live. And I was a little uh, sad that they missed this because, you know, it's a cool part of the ceremony. And normally what we would have, of course, uh, is then, then we would have the Yokozuna come out with two attendants wearing his ceremonial rope. And uh, he would do his own little entrance ceremony, but we don't have a Yokozuna this tournament. We just have Takakesho. <laughs> um, we just have uh, the three Ozeki rotating for the final match of the day. All right, that's enough of me jabbering. Lots of sumo action coming up here on day 14. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. And if you watched all the way to the end, uh, in the comments, tell me what is your favorite nut. Do you like almonds? Do you like cashews? I really don't like nuts. People are always surprised. I like peanuts. Peanuts is probably the one nut I like. And I love peanut butter. I love Reese's peanut butter cups. Um, but I really don't like most other nuts. So let me know what your favorite nut is, and I'll know you watched all the way to the end. <laughs> okay, guys. See you soon.